We have a serving platter that weighs 1.1 kilograms and has a radius of 0.25 meters. It has four spoons placed around the edges that each have a mass of 0.1 kilograms. And we're supposed to calculate the moment of inertia of this whole system. So to do this, we have to look at each individual component. We have the platter itself, which gives us a moment of inertia, and each of the four spoons, which gives us a moment of inertia. And we can treat each of these spoons as a point particle a certain distance away. When we calculate the moment of inertia, we have formulas for each of these things. So for the platter, the moment of inertia for the platter is equal to one-half mass times the radius squared. Mass of the platter, radius squared. So we, flip, we plug in the mass of the platter of 1.1 and the radius of 0.25 meters squared. That gives us the moment of inertia of the platter, some number here. We also have the moment of inertia of the spoons. So when you have a point particle a certain distance away from an axis of rotation, that in moment of inertia is equal to the mass times r squared. For a, for a solid serving plate, it's one half m r squared. For a single point, it's m r squared. So for the spoons, we have mass of the spoon times the radius of the spoon squared. Now the spoon's set on the outer edge of the plate, so the radius is also 0.25 meters for that. Mass of a spoon is 0.1 kilograms. Radius of the spoon is 0.25 meters. Now this also gives us some number. To calculate the total moment of inertia of the system, I total is equal to I platter plus I spoon. Now we have four spoons, so we have to use four times IS. So we plug in the numbers we have for I platter, which is one half times 1.1 times 0.25 squared. And we add on four times IS plus four times 0.1 times 0.25 squared. 0.1 0.25 squared. Now if we multiply this all through, we get a total moment of inertia of 0 0.059 kilogram meter squared. 